in this video, we're going to talk about redox reaction, how you can balance redox reaction in acidic medium. Then from that acid medium, you can easily convert to a basic medium, right? So let's look at what the following steps you want to balance redox reaction in acidic medium. First, split the reaction into two half equations. Please, I would like to I would like to be with you on this so I can just take take this step down because I want to look at this step one by one. We are balancing. So split the reaction into what two half equation. Now we talk about two half equation. Read, redox reaction is what is combination of what oxidation and what reduction. The red there means what reduction. The oz there means what oxidation. So I'm going to teach you how you can what, split them into two half equation. Then step two is to what balance elements other than what oxygen and what hydrogen. So when you split the reaction into two half equation, what you want to do there is to what balance other elements other than what oxygen and what hydrogen. That is what second step. Step three is to what balance oxygen with or water. Now if you look at water, water contains one atom of what oxygen. So for every atom of oxygen you want to balance, you need, you need what one molecule of what water do you get to balance oxygen. Then step Step three is the what balance hydrogen with what proton H plus. You know what balance hydrogen with what with H plus. So for every atom of of hydrogen you want to balance, you need what uh, one atom of what H plus. Do you get that? was step four three. Step four is what balance charges. I use E minus what balance charges. I want I want you to understand here is that. Uh, when you are balancing charges, you introduce what E what minus, which I'm going to explain here, E minus. And E minus means subtracting or decreasing the charges. So if I have half minus 2, I have half 0. You always have this minus E to the side that is having more charges, higher with charges. So here we have minus 2. Now let's just imagine here is what the other type of product. After calculating what the numbers of charges here, here we have minus two, and after calculating here, here we have what zero. So how you go to balance it? Zero is either what minus two. And when you are introducing e, e means this minus here means you are what decreasing that that charges. So it means that for this to be the same, I have to add this from the side as I have higher what uh, charges. Do you get that? Although here is zero, zero is is far greater than what one. Do that. So then I want to add plus e to this point here to decrease it. But if I should add it here, here is already what? One. So it's going to be zero minus one, which is going to be what minus one. So for me to make it to be two, I need to add two at this point. You get. So whenever you're adding your electron this this year, you know that you are what decreasing charge at that point. You get. If for example plus seven, I get add what? Plus two. Now, if here is plus seven and here is plus two, we are doing to what decrease electron. Now, you need to decrease electron at this point by arming by five. So, if you, there is not add plus uh, two, five e minus here. Do that. So, so I'm going to be what seven minus five. We're going to be what plus two. That is what you really want to what pay, pay pay attention. Now, after what balancing what the the charges. Now the next you want to do now, the next step is to uh, uh, make the two e to be to be the same, so I can well cancel them out. So multiply two, multiply the two equation with appropriate amount with appropriate numbers of mole. Now for what the e to be the same on both sides, so I can well strike or uh, um, uh, so that the e can be the same in what both reactions. So I can well strike them out. So after you have uh, cancel E out. The next thing you want to do is to add the equation together. Then after you combine the equation together, then you're not going to check if the reaction is balanced. So I'm going to I'll give you a simple one in this video. Then in the next, in the next video, I'm going to what, give you a complex one. So you will have to stick to the end of this video so you will know how to what, apply these steps I'm written here. So make sure you take it down. Now let's look at what. So now let's balance this reaction in a similar video following what the step I've given to you. Get okay. now. The first step, step one, so what, what split the reaction into two half equation, right? 
Remember, we talk about reduction. Re oh, sorry, we talk about what? Uh, redos. Now, this red means what? Reduction. This or oh, this what? Oxidation. So, how do you identify the one that is reduction? And how do you identify the one that is not? Or oxidation. Now, there are four different ways you can what, define oxidation or what, reduction. I can set it, but I'm going to give you two here because there are the two you are going to majorly go to look at when you're balancing redox reaction. First, I want to split them. Now, we have a call uh, oxidation. Now, we have a call the definition in terms of what? Oxygen and in terms of what? Uh, uh, oxidation number. Do that. So, oxidation is what increase or uh, addition of what? oxygen. So those species that what that gain oxygen in a reaction is called oxidation. Now, reversibly, a reduction is what is decreased in what of, uh, oxygen. So those species that lose oxygen in a reaction or in a redox reaction is called reduction. So you want to really put this on your mind. Then, uh, in terms of what uh, oxidation number, oxidation is what is increased in oxidation number. So those species that increase in their, in their oxidation number from left to right, they are what oxidation. Why those that decreases in oxidation number are what reduction. So this is what you want to use to no, note the one that is on oxidation and the one that is what reduction. Do you get that? So if you if you look at uh, step one here, kind of this one move here and this guy will move here. So we want to split them into two equations. So you have Cu with copper giving you what Cu. 2 plus. There you go. NO3 minus. Right? Give you what? Uh, so now let's leave the unit first. Here we go. So now if, if, if you look at this one here, we can use oxidation number to detect if it's oxidation or what? Reduction. Now the oxidation, the oxidation state of copper here is what is zero. And the oxidation state of copper. Uh, uh, copper here is what plus two because that from here to here is an increase in what oxidation number and uh oxidation is what is the increase in oxidation what number so you think that here is what oxidation is okay if here's my oxidation automatically here yeah what well, you will become my what reduction now but uh, now let's check it if it's really what reduction now, we don't want to use oxidation number here, we want to use what oxygen. Now, how many oxygen do we have here? Here we have three oxygen. Now, on the reactant side, we have three oxygen. Now, when, when it's our own, I'm going to reaction, the redox reaction. Now, for what NO. So, does, uh, this, this guy loses oxygen from three to what one. So, there's a decrease in oxygen here. And I tell you that reduction is what is decrease or loss of what oxygen. So, this is what, this is what the first step you want to do. Do you get that? That was step one. Split the reaction into what? Two half equation. If you have done this one here, you want to what? Move towards step two. Step two says you do what? Balance elements other than what? Oxygen and what? Hydrogen. Do you get that? So you want to what? Ignore oxygen phase. You want to ignore hydrogen phase. Now let's focus on other elements. And the other element are what? Copper and what? Nitrogen. So how many copper do you have here? One. How many copper do you have here? One. So there are one. So it's already balanced. So you just have to write it like that. Cu. Here we have Cu two plus. Do you understand? So they need to balance. The same with what nitrogen. Nitrogen here is how many one. Nitrogen here is how many one. So they don't need the balancing. So it's already balanced. Same down. NO three minus. So here we have NO. That was step two. Now. Step three is to what balance oxygen with what water. Balance oxygen with what water. Now there's no oxygen here, so we don't have a problem with this with the first one. So it's going to be Cu Cu two plus. Do you that? So that we should be that. But here we have oxygen. How many oxygen do we have here? Here we have three oxygen. Here we have one oxygen. So. We have to uh, what, uh, balance the oxygen. You have to balance oxygen here because here is one, here is three. So three minus one, here we have two. So that is two is like on this side here. Remember, when you're balancing oxygen, you need what water. 
For every atom of oxygen you want to balance, you need one molecule of water. Now, do you know the reason why? Water always contains one atom of water. Water always contains about one atom of oxygen. So, if, if for example, I want to balance two atoms of oxygen, then I, the, the, it, it means that I'm going to need two molecules of, of water. If I want to balance five atoms of oxygen, definitely I want to need five molecules of, of water. Do you get that? So, for me now, I need two. I want to balance two at this side here. So, I want to add two molecules of water to the water for this side here. So, here I want to have NO3 minus. Here we have NO plus what? 2H2O. Just now, that was step 3. So let's move towards step 4. Step 4 says you want to balance hydrogen to a proton. We don't have anything like hydrogen here, so you do it like that. So you have Cu, you have Cu2 plus, right? Now, move here. We don't have any hydrogen here, right? On the right hand side, there's no hydrogen. Here. But on the proton side, we have 4 because 2 times 2 is going to be equal to 4. So that is, I'm going to need 4 at this point here. So for every atom of hydrogen you want to balance, you need what? One, one mole of what? One mole of what? H plus. H plus to what? To balance it. Do you understand? So that is, you know, I'm going to add 4 H plus here because four times, 2 times 2 is going to be equal to 4. So you have N O three minus plus what four H plus give you what uh N O plus two H two O. That was that was step four. Hope you understand. Now now move towards step five. So remember for, for the balance charges, you need you add what E minus and E minus means what. Decreasing charges or decreasing of the electron at that point. Do you get that? So then I'm going to I'm going to add E minus two to decide that having more charges, air charges, so that I can what, decrease it, so that I can get to what to balance it. So here we have zero. And here we have what plus two. Now because here is having plus two and E means what decrease the electron. I'm not going to add it to this idea. But if I should add it to this idea, I'm decreasing to what more. So we are, we are going to add this, this one here to so decrease it to zero. So from the decrease to zero, I'm going to add two plus two here. So now I'm going to use Cu. So we're going to be Cu, Cu two plus plus two e minus. Yeah, so, so I can be plus two minus two, but now we're going to give what zero. Just now. So now, let, now let's check me this one here. Please, if this uh, video is helpful, please, uh, before I forget, now there are some people that will not watch this video, they will not like, they will not subscribe, they will not comment. Please don't be, don't be that kind of student. If this video is helpful, please, it just take a few seconds, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and comment if this video is helpful. I really want to hear from you, you get. If you are actually worth getting this video, I don't want to be like other people that will just watch the video and just go away like that. Please, it helps to what, boost the rank of this video, please. So, for that point, can get this contest. Other people will also know can please too. Like the way you have no can please. Okay, now let's let's move on. So here we have NO3 minus here. Yeah, here, here we have what minus one. Do that. So here we have minus one. Here we have plus four. Do that. Because here we have H plus and this here we have moles. So it'll be four times plus two. I know the words plus four, right? So if, if you should subtract it, you know, if you should do the calculation, you're going to be uh, plus 3. Then it's on the reactor side, here I have what plus 3, right? On the polar side, we don't have any, here is 0, here is 0, so here is what, 0. Do that. So here I'm going to decrease my electron here. Because plus, here we have plus, here we have 0. I'm going to add plus 3 electron here, plus 3e minus here. Now when I add plus 3e minus here, that would be uh, plus 3 minus 2, which is going to give me what is 0, right? So here I'm going to add plus 3e minus to this to the reactant side to balance the discharge. So here we're going to have NO3 minus plus 4H plus plus uh, 
e minus same half n o plus of 2 is 2 o. Now let me say this here so you get now by the time you get to this point and um, you have balanced you after balancing the electron and the two e are on the same side, either put it up, put it all react out, react out. You know that what you have done is wrong. So you think that you think that you have made a mistake at the point. So you can see that after balancing the electron here, I was trying to see because that this one, the first reaction I have E on what product side, in the second reaction, I'm having E on the, on the reactor side. So that they can easily what cancel that. Do you get that? So this one shows that what I'm doing here and what I'm correct. So that was step what five. Step C is how to make the two E to be the same because I want to cancel them out. You, you get that? I want to use, I want to eliminate them. So in that one to eliminate them, they must have the same mode. You get. And I can uh, and I can do that. I will, I will look for a number I can reply to it. I will look for a number that I can reply to it. They are doing the same. Now the easiest way to do that here is to use this number here to multiply this one. And this one here to multiply this one here. So I'm going to multiply equation one by three. And I'm going to multiply equation two by what two. So that uh, two times t going to be six. And two times t going to be what six. So they can what cancel out. So because I'm multiplying yeah, by three to be six, it will affect everything here. Yeah, you get so, so I'm going to multiply by three. So it's going to be uh, three times this, times this, times this. So it's going to be three Cu. Give me what three Cu two plus plus six E what minus. Give me that. Now I've done that. I'll, then I'll multiply by two because if I multiply three by two, I'm going to get six. So multiply by two. Give me what. Give me what 2NO3 minus plus what? 2 times 4 is going to give me what? 8. 8H plus. Then 2 times 2 is going to give me 6 plus 6E what minus. Here I have 2 times this here is going to give me 2NO plus. 2 times this here I have what? 4H. 4H2O. Do you get that? You can see that these two are the same. One is on the what product side, one is on the reactor side. They can even what cancel out. So after canceling them out, I can now uh, join them together. So I want to join what the reactor together. I want to join what put it together. So it's going to be three Cu plus two NO three minus plus what eight H plus. Do you get that? So we are done with it. The reactor here is we only have this one here. We have reactor around these two. Then giving you what? 3 Cu 2 plus plus, here we have 2 NO 2 NO plus 4 H 2 O. If you go ahead and checkmate if the reaction is balanced, this is what is balanced. So if you check if the reaction is balanced, the reaction is what is what is fully what balanced. You get, do you know the reason why copper here is what I mean three? Copper here is I mean three. Nitrogen here is I mean two. Nitrogen here is I mean two. Hydrogen here is eight. Hydrogen here is what is eight. You get that? Minus two plus eight. I want to have what plus six. So that is Charlie said what to be plus six. Charlie yes, yeah, you have three times two. What to be what plus six. So this is what balanced reaction in what acidic what medium. Now you can easily convert it to a basic medium. You get that? Can you do a command such a basic medium? But, but I'm not going to do that here. I want to do that in the next video. You get that? So, we have some other videos here. Like what I said, if this video is helpful, please always like and comment on this video. It helps to boost the ranking of this video. You get that? So, you can also recommend this channel to your friends doing chemistry too. So, that you can work benefit.